Hey, good morning, um, everyone. We're going to have another outside dose of God's daily dose today of God's Word. This morning, I want to look at a passage in uh, Psalm 125. Here's a general statement, a uh, general truth um, of what the psalmist makes here. And he says in Psalm 125 and in verse 3, he says, For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. I think this is a general truth for any society or any country. Uh, just look at ours, for example, uh, the United States of America. I don't believe America is, any, is uh, included in any type of Bible prophecy um, in any way, shape, or form. But this is a general uh, truth for any society. Uh, for look what he says, the scepter or the rule, that's what the scepter means, rule, authority, of wickedness. Now, you look at the those that are sitting in uh, the ruling class, if we may put it that way, and look at these folks, and what are many of them? Well, they take after wickedness. You may say, well, that's a pretty bold statement. Well, that's based on biblical authority and, and what our Creator has uh, determined what is right and what is wicked. For example, we are a nation that kills um, our unborn children. We are a nation that put our women in harm's way, as in the military, um, in combat roles, um, and police officers and firefighters i'm not saying you know that these folks um, are maybe capable of them but how precious do we consider uh, the the women of our nation and the children of our nation there is no greater uh, work that that a lady could do uh, than raising up her raising up her children that's not being narrow-minded that's not you know, it's chauvinist or anything along them lines. That is an extremely critical point um, that any society needs. And how much do we really care? Do we really love the women um, of our society to put them in roles and in positions that could scar them for life? Uh, that's not loving um, our women. Um, the, uh, the immorality that we have um, in our society, sexual perversion, homosexuality, and the pushing of it, teaching um, those in preschool and kindergarten and elementary school about gender identity. What in the world has happened to us? And we sit back and we wonder what in the world is happening? Well, what's happening is that we as a society have put wicked people um, in those positions to make those to make those laws. And so we, we have exactly what we have created uh, for ourselves. And so here we have, he says, the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous. If we would begin to be righteous and look at things through the prism of how God looks at things, you know, people wouldn't be so hung up on other people's feelings instead of uh, trying to help them to be right with God. Uh, people wouldn't be hung up on Democrat and Republican and, and all of these types of things because there is a right and there is a wrong and it is not labeled by a political party. But we have wickedness sitting and holding the scepter of unrighteousness or of wickedness. And the only way to fix that is for mankind to get back to to get back to the Bible, is to get back by the standard um, of God. You know, we have child molesters, we have rapists, you know, we have murderers um, that go on living. They may spend the rest of their life in jail. The Bible says kill them in the Old Testament. He says stone them. Uh, kidnappers are supposed to be killed. Um, adulterers are supposed to be killed. Murderers are supposed to be killed. You know, I'm not saying we go out in vigilante justice or anything like that, but I'm just saying if especially with DNA results and all these types of things and you know we have an appeal process and, and, a, and if a person at, at the end of all that is still found guilty take them out because 
it sends a message. God understood that. It sends a message to everyone else so that if I'm going to do these types of things, I'm just going to lose my life. I'm not going to sit in Club Med for the rest of my life and have and have everyone taking care of me. No. And so we sit around and we wonder why are things like they are. Well, that, that's why in a nutshell. You know, he, he says, he, he goes on. He says, lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. You know, these things have went unchecked and the floodgates are open and now everyone is being conditioned um, in this wicked ideology of so many things in our society. And here we have, here we are. What's the answer? We've got to get back to God. We have to get back to the Lord. We have to get back to the Bible. We have to stop lay, stop attaching ourselves to with labels and get back to living our lives according as God would intend for us to do. So there's the answer to this passage. And so I hope this will get your wheels turning, is that if we want a righteous land, a righteous society, we've got to get back to the Bible, and we have to get people that are of a wicked mindset out of those positions of of authority and what a great nation we live in that we get to choose that i think we need to start making better choices that we can live in that society in that country just when i was a child 50 years ago we could leave our keys in the car we could leave the house wide open we didn't have to worry about a thing you can't do that today what's happened the mindset of those sitting in positions of authority and we put them there there's your dose of god's word today and i hope it'll be beneficial i hope it'll get your wheels turning and Lord willing, we'll get back tomorrow and we'll get another dose of God's Word to get our day started off right. Y'all have a good day and we'll see you tomorrow.